हैंडल भी कर सकते So majority of the time uh, when we categorize a headache, different types of headache, what we do is we think in terms of sympathetic parasympathetic. Then stress, uh, adrenaline, that's what you already mentioned. Fight or flight response, there is a redistribution of uh, blood. Hemodynamic changes will happen. So from the center part, there will be less blood and it will push more blood to the periphery. It also comes as a periphery, 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 periphery. So hands and feet and redistribution of body fluid and the uh, blood. So why it will do? It wants you to either fight with the situation or have a frightening situation or flight. For you to run away, you need to have strong muscles and a good blood circulation and good blood, blood glucose. So there will be glycogen converted from glucose uh, from the liver to the uh, inside the blood. So you will feel more uh, strength and all this. But this utilization sometimes causes some vulnerable places it will cause attack kind of. So if muscles of the head and neck are causing a spasm because they are thin sheet of muscles, unlike other group of muscles, these are thin sheet of muscles, it can cause muscle spasm. Muscle spasm at the level of head is a headache. Muscle spasm at the level of neck is neck pain. Muscle spasm at the back is back. Plus, stress response induced vasodilatation. Blood vessels are getting dilated is also cause of headache. So with, the, with this context of uh, baseline information, what we have designed is, we have designed something to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system or the relaxation response, change the chemical structure of the body. So for example, there is one theory which says that when you do this kind of relaxation technique, there is a release of endothelial nitric oxide inside the blood vessel. There is a release of nitric oxide that will have opposite effect as that of stress. That is called as the relaxation response. We are going to study about this. The relaxation response, one time you should study. Around 60 to 80 percent of recovery is possible if you are sticking on to this uh, practices every day with or without headache. This will help you to increase your memory, attention span, and all this will help you. What is the test level like this? Fold, middle finger can fold. So this is called as Nasika Mudra, nose holding posture. Turn your fingers like this towards the face. This other hand you can hold it like this. Bring it towards your nose. You close the right side of your nose. Okay. And breathing in, breathing out only from the left side with awareness. So do the extended breathing like this. Exhale. Deep breathing in from the left nostril, deep breathing out from the left nostril. Keep doing it for about five breaths. Slowly and gently release. Release the fingers and relax. You only done five counts. Five. Breathing in, breathing out is one count. 
Like that, I want you to do 30 counts when you are having a day. 30 morning, 30 afternoon, 30 evening when you are systematic. 30 morning, 20 afternoon, 20 evening when you are normal. Will you be able to do? So, I want you to experience and see the difference. So, there will be significant difference which what we observe. So, that's what we are using it. I'm not teaching you Nadi Shodhana Pranayama or any Sastrika Pranayama or anything. So, literally I am teaching you, we call it as CAV, Chandra Anuloma Viloma Pranayama. I found I use more than 80% of most of the cases of stress. I use PP, hypertension, back pain, neck pain, neck pain, acidity, headache. Actually, headache it will be more than Second technique, you lie down on the bed. I'll see from the bed. So, in this video you can see both the sitting posture and lying down posture. You turn. Turn like this. On your tummy, yes. At three zero. Three zero zero. So you heard of a story in Shakuntala. Shakuntala Dushant, the story you heard in the story. If you not heard, you can ask mom to tell you. So Shakuntala Dushant, the story. I adopted a Shakuntala Asana from the Shakuntala Dushant, the story. So I want the neck muscles to be relaxed totally. Right now around 8 to 10 kg is your head weight, gross head weight, not the subtle ego head weight, but it's a gross head weight. I want that to be rested on the palm and that weight, that weight will go into the elbow. Can you feel it? So by doing this, the sitting like this posture, either sitting or lying down like this is called as Shakuntala Asana. You would have never heard this normally yoga teaching. Shakuntala asana, in this my hypothesis is the relaxation will be induced by the resonance sound what you make after making the neck muscles relaxed. By adopting this posture, I am making the neck muscles relaxed. Use your little finger to close your eyes, bring your index finger to close your ears. So on the ear there is a lid like structure, we call it as a tragus. Put your finger on the tragus and close the, you can look at me first, close the ears. Then with the little finger close your eyes. So what I do here is I take a deep breath in from my nose, breathe out from my mouth. While breathing out I make a sound of mm sound. <coughs> or you can breathe in, breathe out, just make a lips, uh, first lip and you can make a ma sound. Like this. Take a deep breath in. Mm -hmm. change in the blood circulation of your eyes, eyes looks congested. Because of this resonance, there is a change in the blood cells and, uh, that can, I can correlate with the, I can correlate with emotional freedom technique. You have say, you know, done on the left relaxation the technique, they do use like this. EFT, emotional freedom technique. This also similar, works similar. Resonance induces relaxation. That is my hypothesis. And you could feel it. So this Shakuntalasana is not my discovery. But I rediscovered it and I use it. Sound I use it as sound waves resonate. So when you are having headache, you do 20 morning, 20 evening. When you are not having headache, you do 10, 10, 10. Okay? Sir, how is it different from Brahmari Pranayam? It's more or less similar. It's the only position. It's only the posture. 
positioning of hand, see, I, when, you are, when I say there is a peripheral radius to motion of blood, I feel somewhat there is a tension of, of the facial muscles, the head muscles and the neck muscles. When I relax the neck muscles like this, neck muscles are relaxed. The biorhythm of the body will be as such that one group of muscles are relaxed. If there is a time, time is given and resonance is given, other set of group of muscles also get relaxed. That is the part of biorhythm. So what I presume is by doing this adaptation, the biorhythm changes can induce relaxation here and more extended relaxation here. So intensity of relaxation will be This one, I am I'm able to tell this so fluently because we worked on this for about two years continuously on the headache patients and epilepsy patients. We found headache intensity reduced, headache frequency reduced, uh, fits uh, frequency reduced, intensity reduced, duration also reduced. So, with that authority, I will tell, I'll tell them it will work for Last technique is JPMR, Jacobson's Progressive Muscular Relaxation Technique. Do it for about uh, 40 days. Do it before you sleep. Again, this is based on uh, biorhythm. Jacobson was a Canadian uh, physician who was very much interested in yoga. So, he redefined yoga nidra and modified for suiting his patients. Mainly headache, neck pain, back pain, knee pain, uh, all the pains and aches, sleeplessness, anxiety symptoms and uh, headache. Blood pressure also he uses. So there are more than 3000 plus research articles on this JPMR. So I use this JPMR mixing with auto suggestion for headache. So each your finger type, finger uh, uh, thumb impression and everything is ideal, very different from anybody else. So each uh, personality is totally different. We want to achieve something different. We will be unlocked the potential, we don't know. We will be in a confusion. We will be like a, a sheep, in a school sheep. From 150 students, all sheep in one place. So each one, if the, the personality will go evolve in, in a due course of time, you will you'll get to know what you meant to achieve in life. So just thinking at this moment, thinking and thinking and worrying about it won't help you. Where you undergo the process of uh, education, whatever it is, you undergo. But as such, education system is best in India, whatever. Why? Because the brain stores information by three processes: absorption, assimilation, re-expression. Absorption, assimilation, re-expression. So ideally, the, the school system should be learn, play, learn. For you to absorb, you learn. While playing, your assimilation will be much better. Again, you learn, you will be able to store information better. But the education system is learn, 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 which is not going to help you. But nobody is going to listen because it's an education system, it cannot be changed overnight. So we have to change ourselves. That's why you say you go play football in the evening. Hmm? Absorption, assimilation, and age question. Brain stores information like this. If you if you tell me what you ate for breakfast or three days before, you take some time to remember it. And you position your eyes in a certain way that you, you are seeking the short-term memory stores by making the eyes like that. If I ask you what is your date of birth? Second March 2008. So you are remembering it fluently without making that eye over and over and over because it is stored in the long term memory. The process of short term to long term memory is repetition rehearsal. So I want you to do this uh, JPMR for 40 days minimum. I can assure that if you do sincerely 40 days, 60% plus symptoms will be resolved plus medication. Jacobson's technique is very easy. I already have a recorded version of it, but I will re-record. Idea here is 5 seconds tightening of the muscles, 5 seconds relaxation of the muscles. You do it on the line down motion, you lay down. Hands by the side of your body. Hands <coughs> by the side of your body. In a sitting posture, I can come to the edge of the chair, you can also do it. This is a wonderful relaxation technique. I feel everybody, all the students must do this. But the most of the students don't listen. Because most of the teachers don't give time, they think this is a waste of time. So you do the waste of time every day, night before you sleep. 20 minutes you can waste no problem. So idea is 13 parts of the body, 
5 seconds contraction, 5 seconds relaxation. Okay, 5 seconds contraction, 5 seconds relaxation. Make a twist of your hand, all the anger on your dad and me, or you, all this is here. Put your hand here, full tight, full muscles, full tight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Relax and let go. So, very slowly and gently focus your awareness on the biceps and triceps. Make your hands like this. You can look at me. Full tight. Full tight, no? Good. Uh, full tight. Good. Full tight. All anger here. One. Straight like a bodybuilder. Three, four, five. Release. Bring it back to the normal position. When you are doing this tightness and relaxation, put your mind at that muscles area, which where there is a tightness. Make your elbow straight. Raise your shoulders, bring it towards the ear. Full tight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Relax. Okay, very slowly and gently put your awareness on your forehead. Raise your eyebrows like this. Raise your eyebrows up. You are looking up. Raise your eyebrows up. Eyebrow up. Eyebrow up. Kanmuch, kanmuch. Pull it up. Raise your eyebrows. Yes. Okay. You are closing your eyes. You are not raising your eyebrows. Okay. No problem. And open your eyes. Okay. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. ah. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. One. Five counts. Two. Three. Four. Five. Relax. Very slowly and gently shift your awareness towards your eyeballs. I can see that you are getting relaxed. Squeeze your eyeballs as tight as possible. Front to the close front, tight front. Tight front, 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 tight front. Close guys and squeeze it. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Feel the wave of contraction followed by deeper relaxation. Very slowly and gently put your awareness on your jaw. Open your mouth as wide as you can. Ah. Feel your temporomandibular joint. Feel the tightness of temporomandibular joint. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Relax. Very slowly and gently relax. Feel the relaxation around the temporomandibular joint. Very slowly and gently focus your awareness on your lips. Make your mouth in the form of O. Full tight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Relax. Very slowly and gently put your awareness on your tongue. Roll your tongue inside the mouth like this. Hold it for 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Relax. Very slowly and gently put your awareness on your neck muscles. If you can, either squeeze the neck muscles or extend your head backwards. Extend your head backwards, so you will feel the tightness of neck muscles. Hold it like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Relax. Very slowly and gently. Feel the relaxation around the neck. Shift your awareness towards the chest. Take a deep breath in and hold your breath. Hold your breath. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Relax. Very slowly and gently put your awareness on your abdomen. Take your both hands, keep it on your tummy. Hold this tight like this. Tight. One, two, three, four, five. Very slowly release. Relax. Bring your hands back to the normal. Very slowly and gently shift your awareness towards your buttocks and thigh muscles. Squeeze your buttocks. Tighten your thigh muscles as tight as you can in this position. Hold for 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Relax. Very slowly and gently shift your awareness towards your knee. Point your toes downwards. Contract your calf muscles. Hold your muscles of your calf below knee as tight as you can. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. Relax. Now, gently close your eyes. Put your awareness onto your toes. 
tell at the back of your mind that my toes are relaxed. My ankles are relaxed. My calf muscles are relaxed. My kneecap, my quadriceps, my hamstrings, my buttock muscles are relaxed. My lower part of the body from the waist till the tip of the toes are deeply relaxed. The redistribution of blood flow is getting normalized, what we discussed. The trigger or intensity of chemical changes in the blood is reducing. The headache frequency and intensity will be reduced. Very slowly and gently shift your awareness towards your abdomen. Feel at the back of your mind that your abdomen is relaxed. And close your eyes throughout the practice. Very slowly and gently shift your awareness towards your chest. Your lungs and heart are in sync with each other. Well coordinated, yet silent. Great machine of human excellence. Coordinating, supplying good amount of blood and nutrients to all the cells of your body. These lungs are coordinating to make you receive good amount of oxygen for metabolism for all the parts of the body without leaving a single cell. <coughs> Very slowly and gently shift your awareness towards your neck muscles, shoulders, arm, forearm, wrist and fingertips. All the upper extremities, all the muscles are deeply relaxed. Neck muscles are deeply relaxed. Shoulder muscles are deeply relaxed. Your facial muscles are deeply relaxed. Your forehead muscles are relaxed. The number of thoughts are reduced. The intensity of headache for sure they have reduced. With this awareness of relaxation you be in this position for a few seconds before you come back to normal wakeful state. Your, your face is flat for sure. Agatha? Yes, sir. Already in the recorded content, is I didn't record my name. Close it.